both in cases of caffeine in computers, jitter is never good. Jitter is what it sounds like, in computer form. It's any deviation in the signal pulses in a high-frequency digital signature, in terms of amplitude, phase timing, or width of the signal pulse. Jitter creates unwanted glitchy effects, like monitor flickering, poor processor performance, audio clicks, and data loss between two devices. In IP networks, the deviation in signal pulses is the latency on data packet flow, when some packets take longer to travel from one system to another. Jitter can be caused by outdated network hardware or older equipment, not enough bandwidth and overcrowded traffic, poor wireless network connection, and no packet prioritization. Jitter can be constant, occurring with every packet transmission, transient, meaning it's a significant delay caused by one packet, or short term, meaning a delay in some number of packets. A small amount of jitter isn't noticeable. Acceptable standards include jitter levels below 30 milliseconds, less than 1% packet loss, and less than 150 milliseconds of network latency each direction. The amount of allowable jitter depends on the application. For instance, jitter very easily affects audio quality, but not so much emailing. Significant jitter is especially problematic in real-time communications, like video conferencing, as well as for hosted desktops and VDIs. Jitter can be reduced with jitter buffering, in which a buffer receives network packets first, then feeds them out to the application at a regular rate. Upgrading the ethernet cable, reducing unnecessary bandwidth use during work hours, like video streaming or gaming, and scheduling application and OS updates outside working hours. Not sure if your jitter levels are acceptable? Click the link above or in the description below to learn what tools you can use to help you measure jitter. Have you ever experienced the effects of jitter? How did you mitigate it? Share your thoughts in the comments below and please hit that like button.